Question 7. It says the equation for the combustion of butane, combustion is burning, uh, of butane is given below. Butane, I think I did a, a, actually in, where is that? It was here when I was actually demonstrating this. This is ethane. You know, when I was saying C2H6 plus O2, this was actually ethane. But now they are talking about butane here. The combustion of butane, for now, they didn't want to bring it to you. But in grade 12, you'll be needing to know that structure. The equation for the combustion of butane is given below. Just out of interest sake, for you, you want to know butane is 4. I think it's C4H2N plus 2, which 12, if I'm not mistaken. This is the butane. So this plus oxygen is equal to uh, carbon dioxide plus water. Then delta H is less. When you see that less, what do you know? It's exothermic. It releases heat. So you can see that it's negative. Delta H is negative. Define the activation energy. See? So when they, they start asking these definitions, guys, by the way, it is very important for you to just get all the definitions together and master them, cram them. That's all you have to do. Just list everything in chemistry about um, uh, definitions and get time to cram them. So what is the activation energy? Don't say I want to understand definitions. I know, but the simple things start reciting them. So the activation energy is the minimum energy needed is the minimum energy needed for a reaction to take place for a reaction to take place so that that's the activation energy is the minimum energy needed for a reaction to take place so what is activation energy again activation energy repeat with me it is the minimum energy needed or required for a reaction to take place 7.2 is the combustion reaction of butane exothermic or endothermic? Give a reaction for your answer. I already did it. It is exothermic. Why? Then you can say because delta H is less than zero. That's the reason. You'll get your mark. Or you can say because um, uh, it releases heat as delta H is less than zero or delta H is negative you know but the key word there is that delta, delta H is less than zero moving on so is draw a sketch graph of potential energy vessel of potential energy vessels cause of reaction for the reaction above clearly indicate the following in the graph activation energy heat of reaction uh, reactants and products this you must have practiced during school so you are drawing an a, a graph for uh, the energy potential energy versus time graph of what of an exothermic reaction so we've got that we've got that so this is the what the potential energy right this is the potential energy and then this is the time for the exothermic reaction so if you are dealing with exothermic reaction you are starting from the top, you start the reactant and you are having a reaction like this. It might not be accurate and everything, but you need to know what is what. And then from here, you have to label now what is what. You come here and say, there is the part here and there is the part there. And you know what to do? because these are dotted lines you must make them dotted lines like this no even me i must make them dotted lines like that but i must not forget that this is supposed to be like this just bring it back so it's dotted lines and what is this this distance here you need to know it and then also i have that distance what is that distance I need to know and then is there any other distance but those are the two major things that you need to know so this is Delta H the heat of friction and then this is EA where EA 
is equal to activation energy all right because it is and then the reactants because they told us show us the reactants show us the reactants and products delta the heat of reaction is delta h we have done it activation energy have done it and then reactants and products so these are the products here all right then these are the reactants and that's it and then if it was extra we are gonna call this the activated complex but they didn't ask it the activated complex sometimes they ask for it so what is important label that label that and label everything like that this is what will give you how many marks it will give you three marks now the four marks says determine the empirical formula of butane gas if it consists of this of carbon and that of hydrogen now empirical formula also is very important for you to know how you calculate it but let's go about it and then butane is made up of what carbon c and hydrogen s h so we do that we are talking about empirical formula and then the first thing that you need to do with that you say um you are given the percentage uh moles i'll say percentage moles which is 82.76 actually percentage mass not moles percentage in mass its mass is 82.76 and then 17.24 and then after the percentage in mass then you say in so let's do that and then you say in 100 grams what would be that percentage in 100 grams so it's same thing because percentage is out of 100 you just say 82,76 this is now grams 17,24 this is now grams then after that you are saying you have to calculate the moles and remember moles is m over big m so for carbon what we are saying for carbon it will be 82,76 over 12 for hydrogen it's 17,24 over 1 where do I get the 12 I'm getting the 12 from here uh, the periodic table remember carbon here where is carbon carbon is 12 you see that I'm getting from that carbon the atomic mass uh, the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12 so with that I'm just finishing here to say um, if I sorry guys I've been hit by load shedding so you'll hear some funny noise again but I'm wrapping this up so it is what if I do that it will be in here 82 76 over 12 uh, I've got eight 6,8966 which is 6, if you round off shift setup on the round of this thing uh, 6 to 3 decimal places for example what do I have here 6,897 6,897 so I've got uh, 6,897 and then here it will be 17,24 now remember when you're looking at empirical formula you divide by the smallest number divide by 6,897 so that you've got one this is now uh, let me do this I think I'm rushing here let me run not rush myself then when you're done these are the moles and then you come back to say uh, ratio so you're going to say 6,897 over 6, 17,24 over 6,897 see that so the ratio here will give you one is to what what number are we going to get if we are looking at that it will then give us 17,24 divided by 6,897 equal to which is 2,4999 shift to two decimal place set up six and two you see 2,50 
So, but now, whenever you get a, a number in the middle like that, 2,50, remember 2,5, 2,5 is same as what? 2.5, which is same as 2 times 2, 1, which is 5 over 2. You must respect that. That 5 over 2, then you multiply by 2, you multiply by 2, so that you have got 2 is to 5. You understand? Because it's in the middle. It's 2 is to 5. You have to get rid of that. That's why now, when you come here to say CH, it will be, uh, for C, it's 2, for H is 5. Then they ask the question here, determine the what? It was what? Determine the empirical formula of P10. This is the empirical formula of P10, C2H5. See that? C2H5, that's P10, the empirical formula. The actual molecular formula, though, if you'll know, it's C4H10. But this was the empirical formula. They didn't want us to find the actual formula, so the answer is that. So guys, this is the end here. Unfortunately, I have to stop, stop load shedding just hit me, but I have to stop here. I'm going to bring these videos again in small sections of 24 minutes or less so that you can absorb them. But I'm gonna do, uh, I wanted to do this part, number eight. Once I'm in a position, I'm gonna do quickly number eight. I'll drop it for you also. Number eight, where it talks about calculations, I'll do for you also number nine. I'll do for you number 10. What must you do? You guys subscribe. Just give me some energy. Subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Just give me the energy to show that there are people who are enjoying or benefiting from this. We've come to the end of our section. Thank you.